fried chicken sandwiches seem to be all over Los Angeles. I think the trend started with Helen Ray's who makes a fantastic version. Today, I'm gonna make all of my fried chicken sandwich dreams come true. I'm gonna hit up my two favorite spots. First, I'm gonna meet up with Sarah Hymanson and Sarah Kramer from Kismet who make an amazing non-traditional schnitzel situation. Then I'm gonna take them with me to my other favorite, the SNCC food truck in Torrance for a more traditional version of the fried chicken sandwich. But first, Kismet. Part of the reason I think this sandwich tastes so amazing is because of all the different components, what inspires them, and then like the actual architecture of the sandwich and how you guys build it. So what is the first step? Well, we're first gonna fry this ginormous, extra large schnitzel. That is the biggest schnitzel I've ever seen in my life. They were Thank bigger. We, we <laughs> thought this one was like a nice, modest okay. size schnitzel. This is like a snack schnitzel. Yeah. Okay. We like big snacks. Okay. <laughs> All right, tell All right. me about this gigantic Texas toast. <laughs> so we have this house-made brioche. We're gonna slather it with some butter on our plancha over here. Nice. You know, you want enough so that it really gets nice and toasty. This sandwich is like a decadent experience and it's on purpose. So we don't wanna under butter. No, you never wanna under butter anything. But this is such a decadent sandwich. The last time I had it, it was like a couple weeks ago, I like got a seat at the bar by myself a and perfect, I just a perfect way to do it. And I just crushed it. And I used like two napkins and I had a really nice glass of natural wine. Uh, I was just like, like this is this is the life guys. Oh look at that. That yeah. looks pretty good. Looks, looks really good. incredible. We like it when it curls a little bit yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. It's nice when it curls up because then like things really sit in it like and all the juice kind of gets right in that pocket. And it just looks like the the most wild when it's like when this is curled and the iceberg lettuce is like flipped up and, it, yeah, and the it pickles has are spilling out. The sandwich exactly. actually has wings. And uh, we like to sauce both pieces of bread. Okay, you got to schmutz it up. We got to schmutz it up. And like, then don't go too crazy. And then okay. you can kind of no, that's great. We like when it spills off the edge, it makes gives it a little bit of, you know, dramatic flair. Yeah. You guys put some funky stuff in this yeah. one. Three great things. Mayonnaise, labna, and fermented tofu. Why not with the fermented classic tofu? Classic combination. Know, classic, <laughs> classic, classic plus, chicken sandwich. Plus like garlic, a little bit of chili. Thyme. Yeah. Th lemon zest. Please note how big the cutlet is and the size of the toast, just so you can <laughs> see what's Should going we? on here. I wish I had a penny, like just for scale. <laughs> yes, this is this is how you should do a chicken sandwich. Right. Take this. Yep. Yep. Yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like there was Guys, no bread there. I know. <laughs> you literally can't see the bread. Okay, and what's so next? now, uh, jardinera. So why jardinera as opposed to like a regular pickle? Chicago. Chicago, a little bit of Chicago love there. Yeah, and please. like, this is not a totally classic jardinera because we add some turnips and there's some fennel in there and we like to kind of switch it up depending on what's in season. I think that's the secret to the sandwich. Granted, there's a lot of good things, including iceberg lettuce, but I think the jardinera is really what sets this sandwich apart. Let's just spread, spread it. it. Spread it out a little spread bit. It. Okay, spread the love. Just yeah. so we could be sure that when you eat it, it spills all over your clothes. Yes, that's great. I need to wear a bib next time. You oh, know, this looks amazing. Great. And okay. this is your water content for the day. There you go. <laughs> I, I mean, this is great. Oh, oh, and some fresh herbs, of course, because yes. you have to have some fresh herbs on top. It's kismet after all. Yeah, parsley. There we go. Okay. This is a, this is a, a really epic one. <laughs> So you go full schmutz on the top. Yeah, and let and that we really do want a little bit of spillover. Beautiful. Ta-da! Ta She's a natural. I know. All right, so this just goes straight in the middle. Just right in the middle. It's like a toothpick. <laughs> and that's how it comes to the table. <laughs> and now you know all of our secrets. Yes, right? I mean, how happy would you be if this? I mean, you have to order this. 
literally bigger than my <laughs> bigger than my head. <laughs> this is a pretty pretty epic one. <laughs> now we get to eat it. Wow. Cheers. You going middle? You going side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm attacking it from the side. Oh yeah. This is so delicious. The schmutz and the pickle. And the crunch on the chicken. And the bread. That's what I'm saying, the whole thing. Yum. Thank you guys so it's much. Good. Thank you. Okay. Because we don't have enough chicken sandwich. Mm. I want to take you guys to another spot to get my other fried, like favorite fried chicken sandwich. Never right. enough chicken sandwich. There's never enough. Alright, so after we finish this, we're gonna get in the car. Sounds good. Anyone else? <laughs> Jen's wild ride. <laughs> we might get honked at a couple times. We we're gonna go check out the SNCC truck. Uh, it is run by a chef named Michael Wallace, who also goes by the name Chef. I met him a couple years ago when I was taking Johnny from Helen Ray's on like a fried chicken crawl. And he was like, I heard about this guy through Instagram. He makes food out of the side of his house. You order on Instagram. Cool. And then you show up and you get the food and you eat it elsewhere because it's literally out of the side of his awesome. house in Gardena. Awesome. And he has a whole bunch of soul food, but his fried chicken is phenomenal. So he started making this chicken and selling it through Instagram and then he just kind of blew up on Instagram. And in order to keep up with orders, he saved up some money and got a truck. All right. We are here. Time for chicken. Woohoo! Architecture of the sandwich, as I like to call it, is also ideal because straight on the bun you have like the chicken, so it's like not getting too too wet. And then you have the slaw, then you have the pickles, sweet pickles. You have the sweet butter, butter pickles. Then you have like a ton of the really good schmutzy sauce, and you get a little bit of everything in each bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like a lot of, like mm. when you order a fried chicken sandwich in a restaurant, it's like a variation on this. Mm -hmm. Whereas you guys have like a completely new take on it and it's amazing and wonderful. But then when you have this like classic fried chicken sandwich, it's just- Very good. It's magical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, he sells out like in a couple hours. That's amazing. He won't be there for very long. I get why people line up for it. Right? It's really good. It's really good. 